one get, you know, results. Uh, so we don't see, you know, what Vivi or Fawn will do, which is come here and experiment quite as much. Because uh, Karko's out for blood. Karko's out for blood, and John Numbers is out here for volleyballs. Or soccer balls? Are they soccer balls? I always assume they were volley, but everyone calls them soccer. pretty sure they're... It looks like a soccer ball, but it's... It's how you use it, man. It's, it's, it's a volleyball, used as a volleyball. Right? So it's a volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> like calling a gif a gif or something. Same sort of argument. All right. Uh, numbers at ledge, which is perfectly fine. He's chill with that. Um, all right. Not, you're definitely going to eat something when, you're under, when you miss attack on a platform underneath Roy. Um, and keeping him in the air. Uh, the retreat option for numbers every time is going to be like, okay, if I'm getting juggled, if I don't have any resources up top, I've got good air mobility and a good air dodge that'll just drift me back to the ledge. And when I get to ledge, I can rebuild my resources. Oh, and the second. Oh, and the, the, the uh, I was about to say soccer ball. Whatever, I'll keep going soccer ball. Soccer ball connected technically being the killing blow there. All right, we got sunrise or sun salutation fully charged. Not anymore. Dash attack gets him off stage. A lot of these aggressive landings for Carflow are working out. There's a lot like you just don't expect an extra hitbox, even when you know you should against Roy. You're not expecting the second fair on landing. Uh, and all of a sudden, a lot of percentage built up for Carflow. Both stocks taken so far have been with the soccer ball. All right, that's a lot of percent. Doesn't get anything crazy off of it, but I've seen numbers kill off of a landing there with uh, with uh, deep breathing on. Such smart edge guarding. Like, he was anticipating numbers to just, like, go and do a signature air dodge further off stage. So he double jumped up there and waited for it with a back air. This is... Player specific adaptation for sure. Um, but Hummer's building up the percent himself. This is no, in no way unwinnable. Carco keeps threatening jab, and then uh, the bait is to get someone in neutral get up between your jabs or something. Um, and then he'll just grab instead which has worked out like five or six times so far in the set. Or game, rather. Deep breathing back is going to put him on stage, but not to seal the deal yet. I don't know, all this extra credit is really starting to rack up. I've seen numbers make some crazy comebacks before, but... Carflow's got all the momentum. Wow, yeah. Excellent little three-piece three conversion. Going straight to his phone, asking his friends if they saw that. Ish. Am I allowed to swear on stream, Devin? Uh, I mean, don't spam it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah it's, def good to know. it's definitely. Dude, you saw that shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching? <laughs> what, what you got on that phone? You got games? <laughs> Another DJ Khaled quote goes out in between every stock. <laughs> I didn't play myself today. <laughs> Dear Diary. Yeah, he's the type of guy that'll just actively say it's either play or be played. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I I love the bits. Wow, lots of super armor coming through there uh, with the up the out of shield. Everyone's going to nickel and dime on each other. Offstage situation. Numbers taking the opportunity when he was given all that stage just to set up with deep breathing a little bit more. A casual little walk off stage. Oh, and especially with deep breathing, that sun salutation is taking it off the top. All right, Numbers got something figured out, which is ledge, but better this time. All right, off stage. Carpool going to try for down air. Oh, whiffs the execution on the back air, but John just gives him another. Why not? Yeah, 
Yeah, John figuring out a little bit more how to deal with his rundown pressure. But let's see if Carpolo could get anything going. Like, on paper, Ezroy, you want someone at the ledge. You want to be, like, there, naring and stuff. But numbers kind of inverts the rules on a lot of stuff. Not getting any of the hits he needs to get a major conversion going. <laughs> Turn around down tilt to get him off stage. That's so funny looking. It's like watching someone uh, break their back. Is that going to be a kill? Yeah. Not mashing quite hard enough. Alright, the dish joint... Oh! Numbers had no... Numbers uh, had no more resources, resources there and wasn't aware of it. Uh, the disjoint really helps in dealing with that soccer ball at ledge. All right. Oh, that's a lot more. That's the type of conversion we've been waiting for in this game, even though it was only 33. Maybe it just sounded good, but it's more than two hits. On off stage. Ooh, that was dangerously close to connecting. Alright, yep. I'm gonna continue extending the pressure on. I love the tomahawk grab. Because John's been kind of trying to call out the aerial out of shield a lot. Uh, so Carflow was waiting for that. Doesn't get the sweet spot, that would have sealed it. John's got an opportunity to set up shop here by the ledge. And having deep breathing is. Oh! I thought the DI was gonna be bad on that. Having deep breathing is, is kind of a prerequisite to make a comeback like this. It's also tough just being at short hop range, right where Roy can threaten. I'm just not too happy. Um, but yeah, it, it, even at the tail end there, it felt like John was kind of threatening in short hop range in front, trying to like fish for uh, like a whiff punish. But you just die if you're if you're standing, you know, six feet in the air, a little back from Roy. You're, you're within the range of his, you know, tr eight trigrams or whatever. Uh, and he can just do an out-of-shield option, and you're, you've given up stage control. Um, good stuff to Carflow, though. I think I showed up right as Carflow just started turning up. Um, 